when you design a microcontroller, there is always some trade-offs you need to do. And uh, when we did the AVR, the first trade-off we had to deal with was, do we want to do a CISC microcontroller, or do we want to do a real RISC microcontroller? I mean, the CISC has the beauty of, of dense code. The CISC has a beauty of really high speed. Uh, first thing, first difference, I mean, most one, uh, RISC microcontrollers are what we call von Neumann architectures, which means that the CPU uh, connects with the different um, memories with uh, the same bus. So the, the, the instruction memory, the data memory, and the peripherals share the same bus, which means that the microcontroller uh, will have to uh, uh, wait uh, before it can do a memory access if it's doing uh, fetching an instruction, for example. The, the other uh, thing about the architectures is that most architectures are uh, accumulator-based. So the ar arithmetic logic unit has uh, access to one or two accumulators, and uh, that's where you, s if you want to add a number, for example, you can add A to B through the accumulator and send it back to the bus. So everything you have to do then is to m you have to move the data into these two accumulators. So it's, it's a very much a bottleneck of an architecture. That's typical CISC architectures. Uh, and each instruction is always multiple uh, cycles. That's, uh, of course, you have to run many cycles to do an instruction. It typically can be uh, one, uh, f uh, 10, 15, 20 or more. Uh, the hardware architecture, which are more used in RISC processors are more efficient. It requires some more hardware, but it's more efficient. The CPU has separate buses to the data memory, the instruction memory, and the peripherals. So it can access memory while it's actually fetching the next instruction. That's why we can also achieve a single cycle execution. So uh, because it can, in, it can fetch the next instruction while it works with the data memory. So that makes it really, really efficient. So what we did with the AVR was to really look at what can we do with the RISC processor to make it as efficient uh, as a CISC for code density and uh, as efficient as a RISC processor when it comes to execution speed. And what we ended up with was that we, we looked very deeply into the instruction set, the C, the, the C uh, instructions and the way the C compiler works. And then we added a lot of instructions because RISC means reduce complexity instruction set, not reduced number of instructions. So we added a lot of instructions that was almost a one-to-one -one to the C language. And the, the hardware of the architecture looks like this. It has 32 registers connected to the uh, arithmetic logic unit and then back uh, to, to the registers again. So you, so you have a loop here. I will go a little bit more in, in depth into this in the next episode and how we did these trade-offs. But you have 32 registers. You, you can compare them to 32 accumulators. It's more like a scratch pad if you want to. So everything here goes in single cycles. Uh, the the uh, peripherals is on the I.O. bus, but it's also connected to the registers. You can go and store things directly into the, into the peripherals. So it makes it really, really efficient. So what we achieved with AVR was really a Cisco density, but with a risk code, uh, with a risk processor uh, efficiency. So, and that's what you will see in the benchmarks too. It's, it's extremely fast, but still very, very dense in code. The next time I will talk a little bit more about the, uh, addre the addressing modes and, and how we, the trade-off between a three address and a two address machine uh, comes into play here. So thanks for watching.